Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. And today we're going to take a look at the 30 highest selling 1980s baseball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on September 17th. After reading all the comments, I have decided going forward, I will be limiting the amount of Topps Tiffany cards to only 5 per list and limiting those 5 Tiffany cards to rookies only. And we get a couple Pete Rose cards to kick today's list off starting at number 30 with this 1985 Don Russ, card number 641. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $52.80. This card is a pop of 194 in a PSA 10. For our second Pete Rose card at number 29, we get his 1984 Fleer, card number 46. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $55.20. This card is a pop of 269 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 28, is this 1987 Topps Tiffany Bo Jackson Rookie, card number 170. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $64.80. This Future Stars Rookie is a pop of 1,393 in a PSA 9, with 479 copies graded higher in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 27 is this 1983 Topps Ryan Sandberg Rookie, card number 83. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $64.80. This rookie is a pop of 6,118 in a PSA 9 with 696 copies graded higher in a PSA 10. Up next at number 26 is this 1983 OPG Tony Gwynn Rookie, card number 143. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $76.80. This rookie is a pop of 597 in a PSA 8 with 410 copies graded higher, including a pop of only 34 in a PSA 10. The Kid makes his first appearance on today's list at number 25 with this 1989 score traded Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 100T. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $81.60. This Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie is a pop of 4,949 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 23 is this 1987 Topps Traded Greg Maddox Rookie, card number 70T. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $103.20. This rookie is a pop of 4,274 in a PSA 10. We get another Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie at number 22 this time with his 1989 Fleer Rookie, card number 548. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $108 even. Now graded over 61,000 times by PSA, this rookie is a pop of 5,273 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 21, is this 1986 Topps Tiffany Vince Coleman Rookie, card number 370. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $110.40. This rookie is a pop of 51 in a PSA 10. Pete Rose makes another appearance to kick off the top 20, this time with his 1985 Topps base card, card number 600. This was a PSA 10 and it also sold for $110.40. This card is a pop of 224 in a PSA 10.
Up next at number 19 is this 1985 Fleer Cal Ripken Jr. card number 187. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $132. This card is a pop of 172 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 18 is this 1984 Fleer Update Roger Clemens Rookie, card number U27. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $156. This rookie is a pop of 2,218 in a PSA 8 with 3,529 copies graded higher, including a pop of 592 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 17 is this 1981 Don Russ Tim Raines card number 538. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $162. This card is a pop of 315 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 16 is this 1986 Topps traded Tiffany Bo Jackson rookie card number 50T. This was a PSA 6 and it sold for $186. This Tiffany Rookie is a pop of 187 in a PSA 6 with 633 copies graded higher including a pop of 37 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 15 is this 1984 Topps Tiffany Don Manningly Rookie card number 8. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $210. This Tiffany Rookie is a pop of 383 in a PSA 8 with 415 copies graded higher including a pop of 52 in a PSA 10. Up next at number 14 is this 1987 Topps Barry Bonds Rookie card number 320. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $288. This rookie is a pop of 1,592 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 13 is this 1989 Upper Deck Randy Johnson rookie card number 25. This was a BGS Gold Label 10 and it sold for $324. Graded over 12,000 times by Beckett, this star rookie is a pop of 132 in a BGS Gold Label 10, and believe it or not, the population reports are showing one copy graded higher than a pristine Black Label 10. Barry Bonds makes another appearance on today's list at number 12, this time with his 1986 Topps Traded Rookie, card number 11T. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $324. This Topps Traded Rookie has now been graded over 57,000 times by PSA and a PSA 10 is a pop of 4,988. Coming in at number 11, is this 1980 Topps Nolan Ryan card number 580. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $420. While this card is a pop of 867 in a PSA 9, there are only 37 copies graded higher in a PSA 10. And kicking off the top 10 of today's list is this 1983 Topps George Brett, card number 600. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $468. This card is a pop of 317 and a PSA 10. Up next at number 9 is this 1985 OPG Kirby Puckett Rookie, card number 10. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $1,560. This 
This rookie is a pop of 63 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number 8 is this 1980 Topps Ricky Henderson rookie, card number 482. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $1,620. While this rookie is a pop of 2,163 in a PSA 9, the PSA population reports are still showing only a pop of 26 in a PSA 10. We're back to the 1989 Upper Deck Baseball set at number 7, this time with this iconic Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 1. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $1,860. This star rookie has now been graded over 100,000 times by PSA and a PSA 10 is a pop of 4,094. Tony Gwynn makes another appearance on today's list at number 6, this time with his 1983 Topps rookie, card number 482. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $3,000 even. This rookie is a pop of 716 in a PSA 10. And before we get to the top 5, I do have 25 bonus cards for you guys today. And we'll start things off with a few Mark McGuire's. Starting with his 1987 FLIR Update Glossy Rookie, card number U76. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $44.40. Up next is Mark McGuire's 1987 Topps Tiffany Rookie with card number 366. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $33.60. And for our last Mark McGuire card, we get his 1987 Don Russ rookie, card number 46. This was a BGS Gem Mint 9.5 and it sold for $28.80. While we saw Randy Johnson's Upper Deck Star rookie at number 13 on today's list, I also ran across his 1989 Topps rookie, card number 647. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $44.40. For another rated rookie, up next is this 1986 Don Russ Fred McGriff rookie, card number 28. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $33.60. While Ricky Henderson's 1980 Topps rookie is one of our weekly regulars, a lot of his other 1980s baseball cards don't make the list usually, so I pulled aside four of his cards to share, starting with this 1985 FLIR update card number U51. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $25.20. Up next is Ricky's card from the 1981 Fleer set with card number 351. Uh, this card was just authenticated by PSA and it sold for $20.40. Moving one year forward up for auction was his 1982 Tops card number 610. This was a BGS 8.5 and it sold for $14.40. And for our last Ricky Henderson bonus card, we get his 1985 FLIR card number 425. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $12 even. For a couple Nolan Ryans, first up is his 1982 Don Russ card number 419. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $26.40. And for another Nolan Ryan, we get his 1987 Tops card number 757. This was also a PSA 8 and it sold for $8.40. And for a couple of Ken Griffey Jr. rookies, first up is his 1989 Don Russ rated rookie card number 33. 
This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $26.40. Next up was Ken Griffey Jr.'s 1989 Bowman Rookie, card number 220. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $13.20. For the next few cards, I was just looking for players that rarely make the list and we'll start off with this 1981 Topps Ozzie Smith blank back. This was a CSG 7 and it sold for $20.40. And while I know it was towards the end of his career, uh, surprisingly, I don't believe this player has ever made one of these 1980s lists. And next up is this 1984 Topps traded Tiffany Tom Seaver, card number 108T. This was a BGS 9 and it sold for $18 even. Headed back to the Junk Wax era, for a rookie, here's this 1988 score traded Craig Biggio rookie, card number 103T. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $14.40. For another 80s rookie, we get this 1986 Don Russ, the rookie's Jose Canseco, card number 22. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $13.20. For a couple Roger Clemens rookies, first up is his 1985 Don Russ rookie, card number 273. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $16.80. Up next is his 1985 Fleer rookie with card number 155. This was a PSA 8 and it also sold for $16.80. For a couple lower end Bo Jacksons I ran across, first up is his 1988 Fleer card number 260. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $10.80. And going ahead one year, uh, up next is his 1989 Fleer Bo Jackson card number 285. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $7.20. And here's another card I'm surprised has never made one of these 1980s lists, I believe. With this 1989 Don Russ Kurt Schilling Rookie, card number 635. This is a PSA 9 and it sold for $10.80. I don't know what you guys think, but I think Kurt Schilling should be in the Hall of Fame. And this is actually his only true rookie card from 1989. For another player that's never made one of these lists is this 1987 Fleer Bobby Bonilla rookie card number 605. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $8.40. For a Tony Gwynn that was not a rookie, we get this 1989 Topps card number 570. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for $8.40. And for our last bonus card, how about an ungraded raw rookie with this 1988 Topps Tom Glavin rookie, card number 779. This card was authenticated by NBA and it sold for the minimum of $6. And getting back to today's list, kicking off the top five is this 1986 Don Russ the Rookies Barry Bonds rookie. Card number 11. This was a BGS Gold Label 10 and it sold for $3,840. Graded 5,841 times by Beckett, this rookie is a pop of only 5 in a BGS Gold Label 10 with no copies graded higher in a Black Label 10. And Kirby Puckett makes another appearance on today's list at number 4, this time with his 1985 Topps Tiffany rookie, card number 536. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $4,080. This Topps Tiffany rookie is a pop of 53 in a PSA 10.
Up next at number three is this 1986 Topps traded Tiffany Barry Bonds rookie, card number 11T. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $5,640. This rookie is a pop of 444 in a PSA 10. Coming in at number two is this 1986 Fleer Update Barry Bonds Rookie, card number 14. This was a BGS Gold Label 10 and it sold for $6,300. While this rookie has been graded 8,307 times by Beckett, a BGS Gold Label 10 is a pop of only four, with no copies graded higher in a black labeled 10. And topping off today's list at number one is this 1982 Topps Traded Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie, card number 98T. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $7,500. This rookie is a pop of 406 in a PSA 10. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.